Hello reformers and welcome back to Starpoint Gemini Warlords and our sandbox campaign. Now we were actually on our way to conquer a new sector when I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to take a look at the, some of the costs of the structure that we have back at home base. And as you can see here, this actually seems pretty cheap. Seems pretty cheap to me, so I'm going to upgrade our hub module right now because that will enable us to uh, unlock a couple of upper HQ deck modules as well. And I think that sounds like a pretty cool idea at the very least. Like a trade center, for example, because we can start bringing in some extra money. And we can also have a production plant and a logistics center and so on and so forth. So I think that would be pretty cool to go for. And oh yeah, we also just killed a patrol of relatively easy to defeat enemies. And I also tried out my new ultimate ability. So we're going to, well... Have only 50 seconds to wait, and then we'll be able to see it for ourselves, or you'll be able to see it at the very least. It is a very big explosion, so yes, I, I'm sure you'll look forward to that. Anyway, let's go and head on to the forward outpost and see what we can do about taking it on. Actually, this is just my waypoint. I need to go a little bit further, don't I? Yes, just a little bit, just a little bit. There, This is an absolute junkyard, though. I think you could probably get quite a lot of salvage from this place. Okay, so here's another one of these patrols. And I think we're probably going to try and take these guys on. If we can. Okay, come on. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. The battle has begun. Okay, so let's try and take these guys out. And I can launch my warhead very, very soon. I'm going to launch it now. Yeah, Come on, get it. How much damage is it going to do? Ooh, that was nice. That was very nice. That went through the shield and literally did 5% extra damage to the hull. So that is, that's very nice. Unfortunately, the, well, the cooldown, the recharge timer on this ability is very, very long. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait two minutes at least before we get to see that wonderful, wonderful explosion again. So, yeah, that's obviously one of the downsides to having this ability, but I, th I just think the explosion is very much worth it, so I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, we're going to continue fighting here. I'm going to try and eliminate this gunship if I can. Let's try and push it away a little bit. Make sure that our forces are okay. And yeah, do bear in mind that we can actually get Tara and Nika back just by constructing them through the ship menu, so it's absolutely fine if they do perish. I was a little bit unaware of how to get them back after they, you know, fall in combat, but it's nice to know that we can actually get them back that easily, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, I'm going to push this guy away from me. Thank you. Let's try and deal some damage. Yeah, there we go. We are dealing so much damage with this, though. Literally 2,000. Obviously, we can deal maximum damage 2,000 with that, so it's a bit strange that the precision shot is obviously not doing that much, but is it? Oh, I did 20% damage there, so without shields, it does a lot of damage. There we go, nice. Alright, so we do have a couple of extra ships to fight here. How are we doing? Yep, Tara is fine. Nika is okay. She's lost all of her shields, unfortunately. But there you go. We've just captured this zone and we have advanced to level 6. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we do have a couple of other ships over in this direction that we obviously want to take care of. I'm gonna just stay far away. I have a bad habit, because I used to play as the Marauder, to go close to enemies, because obviously I had to go quite close to use my abilities. So, yeah, now that I'm playing the sharpshooter, I just need to kind of stay a little bit further back. There we go. Yeah, keep firing, keep firing. Did we get an upgraded version of this yet? No, we didn't. Okay, well, that's fine. There you go. They've both fallen before us. And um, we do have a number of derelict ships that we could technically salvage now. Should I use my salvage drones and get a couple of pieces of loot from them? I, I guess we could. Let's just see if they actually are worth it. If they give me at least 20 pieces of cargo or something like that, then I, I guess that's going to be quite worth it. But if they give me, like, two, then obviously that's not really. So let's see if that actually is going to help us out a bit. There we go. Okay, so how, how much are we going to get? 21? Okay, I think I had about 10. So it gives us about 10, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Okay, so there is actually a station here. 
and we could technically try to take that but as you can see the fleet power that it has is just enormous it is 4200 and we have about I'm going to say, I'm, gonna, I'm just literally gonna, just going to add up Taras and, and Nikas at the moment because I, I, I'm not going to count myself in this because I am just really very low level. So I think I'm probably going to say that we have about 2,000. So we need much more in the way of power to be able to take that. But I think that's fine. Okay, so let's just send a fleet over there and over there. There we go. Okay, so we're expanding our influence pretty nicely. I'm actually going to go to this next satellite relay here. Now, bear in mind that I think this area here is probably friendly. I don't think this is a, a, a hostile environment. I think down here is more likely where we're going to be able to expand. So probably going to try and take that soon. And maybe along the way we can visit the off-world prison. I'm actually unsure what that is all about. So it would be quite nice to explore that option just a little bit. And as you can see at the moment, our materials are quite low, so I'm not particularly happy about that. Okay, I'm going to just disable my auto-fire. Thank you very much. And we're just going to link up to this. There we go. Ah, Tara has advanced in level. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so that's good. So as you can see here, we do have the faction Nexus. They are neutral with us, as far as I'm aware. So that's pretty good. I can actually go to speak with them, as you can see. I have some things to go over with you. I can declare war with them, and that's basically it. That's all I can do with them, so it's absolutely fine. I'm just going to leave them alone for now. There's another relay satellite over there. Do bear in mind that relay satellites do give you experience as well, so it's quite a nice way to level up and things. Anyway, let's take a look. I have one skill point. When is this going to level up? Ah, okay, so this levels up at level 10, and that will increase its damage to 3,000 maximum. And the cooldown does decrease, so that's nice to know at the very least. Okay, so otherwise we could go for some extra structure construction, decrease research durations and things like that. We could also get additional credits. I personally don't know how you would be really needing credits in comparison to resources, but I suppose you might. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure about this either because... Mining and junky uh, and junker and salvaging and all that sort of thing it increases salvage loot yield Increases the amount of materials acquired salvaging derelicts by 25% But th that's the thing is that just salvage loot yield is that just from me doing things? Yeah, that is I think just from me doing things because it says personal here So it must just be that which is a bit of a shame Okay, what about warfare here? Tread lightly, gain 50% resistance. No, that doesn't really help us too much. Equipment cooldown, that doesn't really help us either. So yeah, there's there's quite a few things that I could go for here, but none that are really, like, really amazing, you know? So, ah, uh, interesting. Okay, I, I actually don't know. I actually don't know what to go for. I mean, I could just wait until level 8, and then I could get... Railgun training level 3, and I could also get Freelancer at the same time. So I think I'm probably just going to save our points at the moment and see where it goes from there. But yeah, we have a, a little bit of time. So I guess... Ah, uh, there we go. So I guess I'll see you when we arrive a little bit closer. Alright, so we've arrived, and this seems exactly the same as the other place where it is a neutral area. Thankfully, we are now level 7 as well. Hopefully, Nika's going to level up too because she is getting a little bit behind Tara and I, so hopefully... Where, where is she, actually? Is she... Did she... Did she literally die? No, she didn't die. Okay. So I actually... Un, I'm unsure where she is at the moment. Is she actually here, but I just can't see her? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. She's level 8. Okay. <laughs> yes, she's actually higher level than we are. And hilariously enough... They are actually the other classes. So as you can see here, Tara is a vanguard and Nika is a marauder. So that's pretty cool. All right, so there is a station here with 13,000. Crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna skip that. Thank you very much. There is also a research outpost there if I want to do that. And then, also, of course, we also have the hyperspace torrent gate. That requires a huge amount of resources, as you can see there. Obviously, I'm unable to do that at the moment. Okay, so... There is a station here, but I'm assuming that there's probably going to be some other places that we could potentially conquer. 
but if we go down we're also probably gonna find something down there so I think we're gonna go a little bit downwards and see if we can conquer something around this area here I think this is more of a friendly zone and that's a hostile zone so it would be quite nice if we could expand a little bit down there too ah I see all right so we've arrived at the off-world prison and well suffice it to say there are a huge amount of oh very very powerful enemies yeah I think we probably want to get away from here thank you very much that is a destroyer I think that's pretty high level as far as I'm aware and I don't think we have the ability to take those guys on especially considering I don't know whether you saw but there were a huge amount of mines Yes, mines, and well, we've seen how destructive the mines can be in a previous episode, so yes, I'm pretty sure we want to get away from there as soon as possible. The Gemini Jailers Association, yeah, probably don't want to deal with those guys, thank you very much, okay, yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to, ah, there's the sensor, sensor satellite, so we can hopefully uncover this area, or do we want to? Probably not. I probably just want to go into the hostile area and then just uncover that one because really uncovering the friendly area is not too useful to us at the moment. Okay, so I thought considering this is one of the things that I've not really done that much of in Starpoint Gemini and that is of course to do some mining and things like that. So I thought I might try out my equipment here and a borehole torpedo might be pretty fun to see what it actually does because I've never tried it out before, so I guess we're going to try it. Let's have a look. Well, that, uh, <laughs> that seemed to be pretty good. And now I have an absolutely full cargo hold. Well, that's pretty nice. Okay. Well, as you can see, we're almost halfway there. But yeah, look at that. The borehole torpedo. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so I am actually unsure what we've gained from that, but I'm going to check that out once we arrive in a place where I can actually sell things and once we figure out what's actually going on there we might be able to return to these places and maybe start to mine a little bit more dependent on if that is actually really useful because if it's useful then that's fantastic if it's not then obviously there's no real point in doing it now I'm just gonna try and hack and run here because as you can see my shields are getting absolutely obliterated very very fast here so there we go I'm done so hopefully we can get out of here as soon as possible okay so how are we doing here this attack outpost is pretty decent oh they're, they're actually not even that good they seem actually pretty pretty low level actually so seems like we might be able to eliminate their fleet and then come back and destroy the forward outpost and that would enable us to get a couple more mining operations which is exactly what we want to get so let's see what we can do about that am I am I okay in HP do I have a, a decent amount of HP right now I'm not entirely sure but the battle has begun and I'm a bit worried about it because some of them oh they, they have gunships and things like that I think we'll be able to do this no problem let's try it Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, yes, here we go. I don't actually know where to go at the moment. Should I just try and fire at this thing? I guess. Oh my. Yes, I think I may have taken off a little bit more than I could chew. So what I'm going to do is I think I might try to get away back to our allies here. Because our allies are apparently doing something... Oh, they, uh, they're fighting those stragglers. That's awful. Okay, well... Seems like I'm going to have to go over here and help them, and I'm going to fire off my torpedo because that is hopefully going to deal a huge amount of damage. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, that did a lot of damage right there to all of these gunships because they were all flying in formation, and you can imagine how much damage that's going to do if it's an AoE attack, which of course it is. So that's pretty nice. So are we, are we okay now? I, I think. I think we're okay. Maybe. Seems like it. I mean, how, how are our friends doing? That's the main thing. Mm, I'm not entirely sure. I am not entirely sure. We might be having some issues. I'm going to push this guy back. And 
It might be good to activate my auto fire. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. Okay, we we might actually end up losing this. I don't know, it really depends. It really depends if we're able to eliminate some of the bigger ships in the area. Well, at the moment, we're not doing too badly. How are our friends doing, though? That's the thing. I don't actually know. I can't really check that very easily. There we go. That corvette is down, and where are our friends? I can't see them on the HUD at all. They must be around here somewhere. Ah, there's one of them. Okay. Oh, Nyker is not doing well at all. Okay, maybe I can try and help her out a little bit. Gonna try and push these guys away from her. There we go. Maybe she can get a little bit of a breather, a little bit of time to maybe use some equipment, maybe restore herself or something like that. Yeah, it seems like we might not be able to do this, mainly because we were ambushed by those other fellows, and it seems like, yes, it seems like we have lost this. Ah, that is unfortunate. That is really quite unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna have to go and build both of them back up. I mean, do bear in mind, we are very outnumbered right there, so obviously that's gonna make a huge difference. Could we do this ourselves, though? That's the thing. Can I do this myself? It's highly unlikely, I've got to say. It's highly unlikely because, literally, I have to deal with gunships, I have to deal with some freighters, and I'm only in a gunship myself. As you can see, I'm getting absolutely bombarded by everything under the sun right here. There we go. We killed one of the gunships. Okay, my shields are not doing a very good job at the moment. Can I, can I push them away a little bit? Yeah, I can try and push them away. Maybe do a little bit of, you know, a little bit less damage to me. Okay, I'm going to go around this satellite, or satellite, around this asteroid right here. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit of a breather for me. Oh, they're still shooting me through that. Well, kind of. Yeah, they destroyed it to get to me. Of course they did. Okay, so how are their shields doing? Oh, this guy's a little bit low in HP, so I think we might be able to take him on. Try and eliminate him as quickly as we can. I'm going to push him back. Okay, I'm going to use my missile, and yes, he's almost down, and there you go, he's down. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so how are we doing now against these guys? Okay, so how many do they have left? I think about five. That might be a little bit too much for me, but of course, Tara and Nika are being constructed. They are coming back, so maybe if we're able to hold out long enough, we might actually be able to do something here. Are there any gunsh gunships remaining? No, it seems like there aren't any gunships remaining. That's not very good for me. Okay, front shield's not doing very well. I guess the best thing I can do is just continue to use my ability and just see where that gets me. I can try and use my other ability, which I've never used before, which is the clone ship holographic thing. So I'm going to do that right now, just so that I have a... I don't know, they have a different target to fire on, I suppose. Okay, let's just try and take out this guy and then see where we are. Because this guy is really, really low. There we go, he's down. Oh, we're winning. We're starting to win. We are starting to win. Okay, so let's see what I can do. I'm going to try and get a little bit of a breather by hiding behind this asteroid right here. There is someone firing at me from above, which is never, never fun. Okay, that's destroyed already. Hello. Okay, I'm going to try and fire, fire at you first then. Yeah, it seems like these freighters, they really aren't very well equipped for combat. So, as you can see, I mean, just look at my precision strike. It's doing so much damage to them with each shot. All of their shields are absolutely taking a pounding right here. Going to send off another holographic ship. There we go. There we go. As long as we can stay away from these we should be in a really, really good position. I'm actually going to tell Tara to come down immediately and try and help me. There we go. She's going to come very, very soon, hopefully. And then we will be in a really good position. I think we're good, actually. I think we're good. My shields are holding up remarkably well. This is primarily because these are all freighters. And obviously, as we know, we've looked at it, freighters only really have very limited weaponry, so that's the main reason why we're actually able to do this right now. 
Ah, is that Tara I can see on the radar right there? Yes, I've eliminated one more of the enemies just by continuing to fire away at them. And, uh, yeah, well, as you can see, we just have, I think, three enemies remaining, and Tara is coming in. Oh, yeah, there we go. We also have my holographic ship actually taking some of the fire away from me, which is really nice. But, yeah, the damage increase is really very, very important as the sharpshooter. You need to keep yourself away or keep your enemies away from you so that you can just deal so much damage. You're, you just gain a flat percentage which is really very very important okay so Nika is now ready yes her fleet power is so much better now as well now that she's leveled up a little bit and I think we're almost done we're almost done with capturing the sector now this was much much more difficult than the previous couple of sectors mainly because we were attacked by a random patrol as well as the actual official fleet of the sector so obviously that would make a pretty big difference in how much you're gonna be taking in terms of damage and as you can see we do have Tara over there dealing with that freighter and I think we are in a really really nice position now so I think we need to we need to just get back a little bit over here so that we can actually activate the event I suppose you could say because we don't have the bar at the top I, I don't know how long we haven't had that bar at the top because I'd very much like to take this forward outpost it's, it's pretty easy to take I mean it should be right so let's just see okay we do have a couple of extras here that we need to deal with these are just gunships and things okay I'm just gonna fire my big warhead at them when I can oh they're already being fired at by a bunch of Nexus pirates by the looks of things well that's interesting do I want to do I want to deal with them uh, yeah probably not Let's not, let's not deal with them right now. There's 90,000 until I can get to the forward outpost. I don't know whether there'll be any more enemies, but we've cleared out quite a few of them. So it should be, should be ours, surely. I mean, almost, at the very least. Going to turn off my auto fire as well, make sure everything's fine. Okay, the battle has begun, and we do have a couple of people around here. They're corvettes and things like that. Okay, well, I'm going to fire my big warhead immediately. There we go. Oh, my. Did you see how much damage? Wow, 40% damage just from that, as well as eliminating the shields with the precision strike as well as... Wow, that's just crazy. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to be in a much, much better position this time. We have the drop on them. And I'm taking a lot of damage, but that's fine. As long as I'm taking the damage, that means Tara and Nika are going to be absolutely fine. Obviously, Nika is not here just yet, so hopefully she's going to join us relatively soon. There we go. That's done. And now we just have a couple of gunships. Ah, oh, a couple of gunships. Well, that's, that's fantastic. I am absolutely pleased with that. Well, there you go. This is the final gunship, and I think that should be it for the conquering of this sector. Wow, that was... Phew! That was that took quite a while, didn't it? That took quite a while. But thankfully, we have now leveled up to 8. Nika has also leveled up, which is fantastic. And we have now expanded our territory even further. So I'm going to be getting another mining operation constructed going on there. And we're just going to continually send our couple of fleets over to where we need them to be. Oh yes, that is fantastic. All right, well, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.